This is Ephraim, one of the Tornado Twins with UnityPrefabs.com and I'm hoping you're having a good day so far and if not, your day will just get a little better right now because I want to showcase you the first person shooter controller that we have made for the iPhone and iPad. Uh, this is running Unity iPhone here and when I hit play I can control the game either with my mouse just in case you don't have your um, your iPhone or iPad handy or I can of course use the iPhone that I have on my hand right now. Now I have two joysticks on the screen, the one on the right is one I'm using right now and it helps us to look around in 3D space to whatever we're shooting and then I have towards the left here I have my um, controller or joystick that allows me to walk around and when I use both of them it acts like any other controller for the Xbox or for the PlayStation or what have you. Now I can jump using the action one button if I tab that right here you can see me jump you just saw me through jumping through the screen and then there's an action two button also which we have not assigned anything to but you can use it uh, or duplicate it if you want more buttons just in case you want to use it if you don't want to use it just delete it off the screen no big deal we just want to help you make things easier now one of the nice things here is that when the gun goes through the wall it will still render so that's really nice this is what you would expect from a proper first person shooter and of course there's a lot that we can tweak about this prefab as well. Let's start by pausing the game. Here we have the prefab and when I hit the uh, controls of course we can change the action 1 button and the action 2 button. You can change the graphics, you can change the message that it sends when it's being tapped and as you can see it sends the jump message with the A1 and the A2 button right now. It doesn't do anything but you can of course set it up to do so. Then we have our left joystick and right joystick. You can change the radius and of course the size if you think, hey, that's a big joker button, I want to change that. Or if you want to make it even bigger, you can do that, whatever you want to do. All right, then we have the uh, GUI itself. We have a crosshair that you can turn on or off right here. And then we have the actual player. Player's interesting. You can change the uh, speed of the head bobbing. You can change the ground speed, the jumping speed. Uh, the force up or the in-air speed that you can change while you're jumping uh, that sort of thing. You can tweak if you want the keyboard and mouse to be enabled and I recommend that before you export your game for the final version you check that off but just keep it on for testing purposes in case you don't have your phone or your iPad on you. Alright so that's uh, what you can do and of course then we have the camera here that you can tweak speed with. Here's the head bobbing, the invert why yes or no uh, if you, if, whether you like it or if you don't like it you can change that you can also add that to your main menu then the rotation speed if you think it's too sensitive you can tweak that as well the touch speed as well and then we have the gun that you can replace please do replace this gun because it's a well a dumb looking square we just have it there so you can replace it with whatever graphic or animation you want Alright, and then the graphics itself is the graphics of the player. When you're not doing multiplayer, you probably don't need to replace it, but you uh, can also just turn it off. Whatever you want to do. Alright, so make sure you send us some screenshots of your work. We would love to feature them on our website, unityprefabs.com, and this is also the website where you can get this package. Alright, uh, happy game development, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we liked making it. Cheers, I'll talk to you later. Bye.